However, with northern Argentina enjoying a surplus of electricity, the two countries have arrived at a power exchange agreement. The two national grids operate at different frequencies, Argentina's at 50 Hz and Brazil's at 60 Hz. The interconnection is therefore done with a back-to-back -back HVDC converter station. CN chose ABP as EPC contractor for the complete interconnection, that is, the Rincon Santa Maria substation, the ITA substation, 500 kilometers of AC overhead lines and an HVDC back-to-back -back converter station rated at 1,100 megawatts. The 500 kilovolt AC line stretches 130 kilometers on the Argentinian side and the 525 kilovolt AC line on the Brazilian side is 370 kilometers long. The river Uruguay, which runs between the two countries, is crossed by the AC lines suspended from 130 meter high towers on both sides of the river. The HVDC back-to-back -back converter station is located close to the river on the Brazilian side. The PLC filter eliminates disturbances in the 30 to 500 kilohertz range. The line reactor on the 50 hertz side has a rating of 92.5 megabar. Its task is to keep the voltage down when the load is low. This is an HPL compact module. It consists of an HPL breaker, two disconnectors and one digital optical current transducer built into a single unit. Five HPL compact modules build up the AC substation in a ring bus arrangement on each side of the converter. Each filter bank has its own breaker. The AC filters eliminate the harmonics generated by the converter, as well as, to a certain degree, compensate for the reactive power consumed by the converter. There are four filter banks in the converter station, two on the 50 hertz side and two on the 60 hertz side. Each one is made up of four branches, one branch tuned to the 13th harmonics, a high-pass filter tuned to the 24th harmonics, a branch tuned to the 11th harmonics, and the branch at the far end is a high-pass filter tuned for the 36th harmonics. The 11th and 13th harmonics filters include the so-called Contune reactor, which can continuously adjust its inductance to keep the filter tuned when, for example, the net frequency varies. The filter yard includes a spare phase, which can replace any of the phases when it's needed. The converter transformer is of a single phase three winding type with a rating of 192 megavolt amps. AC is converted to DC in these valve enclosures. Four such enclosures are built into a single unit. Each enclosure is a valve function made up with 36 thyristors connected in series. Each enclosure includes a fire detection and extinguishing system.
The major difference between a classic HVDC converter station and this one is the series capacitor connected between the converter transformer and the converter valves. It compensates for the reactive power that the converter consumes and it's very appropriate when connected to weak AC networks. This is called CCC, Capacitor Commutated Converters. The capacitor bank on the 50 Hz side is rated to 32 MV and on the 60 Hz side to 54 MV. Each block is dimensioned to 550 megawatts. The voltage on the DC side is plus minus 70 kilovolts and the current is 4000 amps. There are two smoothing reactors per pole, each dimension to 50 millihenry. In a conventional HVDC plant, the control system is concentrated to one control room. Here the control system is distributed across the plant in enclosures such as these. This particular enclosure contains Pole 2's control equipment. There's also an operator workstation. Here's the station control room. The whole converter station can be operated from here. It can also be remotely controlled from local dispatch centers. The equipment I've described is on the 50 Hz side. The equipment on the 60 Hz side is similar, except for the line reactor, which is rated at 250 megabar. We should also note that this reactor also works as an auxiliary power transformer. This is the outgoing 525 kilovolt AC bus on the 60 Hz side. The power is transmitted to the ITA substation from where it's then fed into the Brazilian grid. <laughs> 